hello guys in today's tutorial i will show you how to design a professional business card using corel draw x7 without any further ado let's go into the video what is going on my name is dennis welcome to another video if this is your first time here kindly subscribe and click on the bell because and help graphic designers find success in their career so these are the resources i'll be using for this tutorial and the first thing i'm going to do is to set the size i'll be using for this design basically the normal size for a business card is 2 inches by 3.5 inches so i'm going to set my size here by clicking here and set it to business card you can see it's already 3.5 by 2 inches so i'm going to create a shape by double clicking on the rectangle tool and i'm going to give it a white color and i'm going to take off the outline by right clicking here and i'm going to do something like this give this a black color hold here bring down and right click before you leave your mouse to create a new shape so automatically i've been able to duplicate this shape i'm going to ctrl z press i'm going to press ctrl z then give it a white color then do this again click here bring it down and right click before you leave give it a black color and bring here now why i use this command of right clicking before leaving a shape is because for me it's the fastest way to duplicate objects in corel draw when you click on an object then you drag it to any direction and you right click before you leave that object automatically it duplicates that shape that is the same command i've done here okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to create this shape using my pen tool i'm going to create a shape like this now when i want to create a straight line using the pen tool like this one i'll press shift on my keyboard when dragging this so it won't break the lines or make the lines not to be straight you can see how it is but when i click on my shift key on the keyboard this is how the line is i'm going to click there and here then join it back to the node i started with so i'm going to give it a black color and right click here to take off the outline you can see it's very okay and the next thing i'm going to do is to create a custom shape like this using the rectangle tool okay i'm going to give this a cyan color right click here to take off the outline so i'm going to select this by pressing the shift key and click on the white shape then press t to align to the top you can see the cyan shape by the command t it has aligned with the white shape on the top then i'm going to shift it to this direction by pressing the control key on your keyboard will help you to move in a straight line like this i'm going to move till i get to this one let me zoom in so i can see very well get to this point then i'm going to drag this upwards a little Click on the shape again to get these curves, then hold here and drag to this direction till it aligns with the black shape. I think that's okay. And I'm going to create another shape like this. Click here. And I'm going to give it a cyan color also. But this time, I want the color to be darker than the cyan color we originally used on the first shape. So what I'm going to do is to make this color darker 
than this by pressing the control key and adding black to this color will make it darker than this I just added black two times by pressing the control key and clicking on the black color here two times you make the color darker than the first one you can see how it looks here with this the business card is set so the next thing i'm going to do is to add my type into the business card click on the text tool and click here then set your typeface to futura and i'm going to type this okay this is the name of the card Holder, and I'm going to make this bold and the font size should be 12. I'm going to keep it here. And I'll use this resource I kept here. And place it here. Now why it's not showing is because the resource is behind the white shape. And for you to bring this to the top of the white shape, you press control page up so that's exactly what i'm going to do right now i'll press control on my keyboard and press page up until it comes up you can reduce this a little and make sure you centralize it by pressing shift and select the name and press c to centralize this okay and i'm going to change this color of this nick by highlighting the nick and change the color to cyan and this is done and the next thing i'm going to type here is general manager now the typeface i'm using for this general manager is gadugi so i will use this for it and the size the font size is seven i'm going to centralize this okay with this i can bring everything down after selecting all okay now i'm going to add the company logo here I'll ungroup this, change this to white so it will be visible. Control page up again to bring it to the front and I'll reduce this and place it here. Okay, and I'm going to type in the company name change this to Futura okay that's the company name make this bold and give it a color white and make it 12 points and I'm going to place it under here now I'm going to add this company's slogan centralize this So this is the company slogan I'm going to make this seven points and I'll put it under here make it white and I'm going to centralize this and there is need for me to make this capital letters since every type on this is already capital letters and with this i'm going to reduce this a little and centralize increase this a little and centralize 
so we are almost done with the front of this business card and i'm going to type this website here I'm going to change the font size to 7 and I'll place it here. Make it white and centralize. How do I centralize? When I click on the element I want to centralize, I'll press shift, click on the shape I want to centralize with and simply press C. That is the shortcut to center alignment. Okay, now we are done with the front of the business card and I want to design the back side of the business card. So what I'm going to do is to create a new page by pressing page down. And once I press the page down, this is what comes up on the screen and I'm going to set the page by adjusting this to landscape and every other thing remains okay. So I'm going to press OK and automatically this is a second page which will be the back side of the business card. OK, I'm going to copy this and paste here because I want to use the concepts I've created in front to complete the concepts behind the complementary card. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete this element here, delete this and this. And I think I don't need this. So I'm going to mirror this and mirror here. What I just did is I mirrored the design vertically and horizontally by clicking here to mirror horizontal and here for mirror vertically. That's what I did here. So next thing I'm going to do is to copy this. to this place so i'm going to reverse this color here by ungrouping this and i will reverse this to black okay now i'm going to change this color here this shape to this and i'm going to change this text to white and this also to white and this to black now i'm going to duplicate this press ctrl drag right click before you leave to duplicate then i'm going to mirror it horizontally then i'm going to drag to this direction and i'll take it up a little bit okay i think i think this is Okay, then I'm going to trim this off by using my pen tool. I'll click here, drag and click here. And I'm going to select around here like this till here. So why do I select like this? I want to trim this place out. I'm going to press shift and click on this other shape. And you see this option here where you see trim. I'm going to trim this off. Then I'm going to delete this shape out. Now I'm going to create a white shape like this. Click here. Click here. Here. Press shift while creating this line so it will be on a straight line. Click here. Click here. And here. Now I've been able to create a new shape and I'm going to give it a white color. Right click here to take off the outline and this is what I have got. So I'm going to add the remaining elements on this design and this is the location, Gmail address, phone numbers and website. I'm going to centralize this and I'm going to select this and choose this typeface set the font size to seven and since this business card 
is a design template. I'm going to type the address this way. And I'm going to type the email address. Okay, these are the contact information and I'm going to place it here. Now I'm going to use the shape tool to reduce the text tracking this way and set the alignment to right alignment and I'm going to bring it down here. Okay, now I'm going to bring in all this here. And I'm going to place them accordingly. This will go for this, this for this, this for this, and this will be here. I'm going to select all and centralize all. Then I'm going to put this QR code here. With this, our design is done. Thank you so much for watching this video. If this video was helpful, kindly like and share and also comment your questions if any. I'll see you next time.